Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, let's dedicate today's video to the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. Um, I was looking at his channel. He, uh, he took himself a couple of those OCC uh, Swin Bikes, Orange County Chopper Swin Bikes, and he uh, smashed them together, added a Tecumseh engine to it, created a really cool bike. He calls it the Gadget Bike. Um, I mean, it's just, the, w the way he put it together, it, it's cool. You got to go take a look at it. Must be fast as heck with the, uh, with the size tires he has on it and the um, gear ratio. I'd imagine that thing would clip along at all of 40s, you, you know, especially, I mean, the tires aren't fat like that. They're, you know, a little bit wide for a bicycle tire, but, you know, the rims are light, the frames are relatively light, I mean, heavy compared to a bicycle, but uh, I imagine it would, that thing would fly. So anyway, go take a look at his channel. Um, he's also into model railroading and um, models in general, uh, car models and, and all that stuff. The interesting thing is if you watch his videos, listen to the tenor of his voice and all, he really sounds like a guy who enjoys the heck out of life. So, um, y you know, good place to go get a picker-upper, perhaps. Um, you guys could read all this and weep. I don't know if you can see that. It's 5.2 degrees Celsius, 57% humidity. Welcome to Tuesday. Okay, what am I up to today? Um, I've talked to you guys like a million times, and you guys have watched me. You know, there's part of a lift I started to build. And I started to build a scissor lift. Um kind of a L-shaped monster um, with a hoist on the end of it and then you would kind of pull and it would you, you know on a pair of scissor arms it would just kind of lift lift the deck up I kept having premonitions of like losing my toes or you, you know cutting the end of my foot off with it so um, I kind of gave up on that and this is a prefab solution. This is a Harbor Freight. This is their 1,000-pound hydraulic lift table, right, Hallmaster. Um, so they're, they're like 259. You guys could see that there. And then you use the 20% coupon, and it goes down to 207. And by the time you pay for it, it comes out at you, you know I don't know what is that about 224 I also you know got a free meter out of them because whenever I go in there I, I'm, I'm a, I figured they should pay for my gas so um, I always try to you know get something free that's just me um, anyway that's the item number for anybody who cares This thing is good for a thousand pounds. Uh, lift range 11 to 34. I actually measured that, and that's true. When it's all the way down, it's 11 inches from the top of this plate to the floor. And when it's all the way up, it really is 34 and a half inches. Um, they put casters on it. And, uh, y you know, this thing, this bike isn't exactly light. And uh, it actually rolls around pretty good with the casters. So all those things are good things. Um, just want to kind of get it back into place before I lower it down. Though once it's lowered down, I think it's still... Away. So to raise it up, you step on this thing right and to lower it down you grab the bicycle handle right it goes down nice and slow uh, what am I gonna do with this 
I'm one of these characters who, when I build something, I want it to perform like 14 tasks. I can't just be happy with it performing one task. So I not only want it to be a lift, so I can lift this thing up if that's what I need to do, but um, to be honest, I want to be able to park a bike underneath it when it's lifted up. And um, you, you know, I hate to use the word storage because my entire life is nothing but storage. But one of the things I always have to be thinking about is, given the amount of space it's going to take up, is it going to earn the space it's it's going to use? So. What I'm thinking of doing is creating a table such that you drive the quad up on the table and then slide this thing under the table and start jacking it up. I did some math and if you actually want to like park this thing underneath the lift, you need like almost 48 wide you need um, almost six foot long right and you need 45 46 inches tall well that sounds great but that means I can't put the lift here because if I put the lift here I don't have 44 inches times two before I get to the garage door. So as I'm jacking this one up, I'm going to not be able to get it high enough to drive one underneath um, without troubles with the garage door. These two bikes, this one and this one, are really my two biggest bikes. Um, and if, I mean, that thing is a, is a bit smaller, the, um, what is that, a TRX 200 SX, and then I have a, um, Mojave over here that I put a Honda 200 S motor on. So, probably the biggest bike is the TRX 300, um, four-wheel drive. The second biggest is probably that Lakota. Third is probably this guy. And lastly, would be um, would be this. This would probably be the smaller of the uh, four quads. Anyway, my thoughts are um, that's a lift I would like to build, um, and I think I'm going to use this as the base. Um, some of you will say, hey, you know, for 300 bucks you can go into Harbor Freight and buy the motorcycle lift. That's true, but um, the motorcycle lift has limited functionality. It, it's, it'll lift the bike. I can put a platform on it. It'll, that'll be not a problem, but you can't exactly drive anything underneath it. Right, whatever you lift on it is fine, and when you drop it down, it's fine, but um, it, it's one dimensional, it only does one thing. So, um, that's a future, um, that's something I'm thinking about. But in the meantime, uh, obviously, this thing it actually works very nice. Um, once again, it goes from 11 up to 34 and a half. Um, once you have something on it, you could actually roll it around. I mean, the wheels actually move pretty good. Um, the only criticism I'm going to throw at it is, um, uh, when it's cold, you kind of have to step on it and it goes up an inch and then you have to wait three or four seconds, five seconds, step on it again, it goes up another inch. If you don't wait, it, um the hydraulic fluid doesn't backfill um, the, I don't know, the reservoir, the piston, whatever that, that sends it up, the um, 
I guess it's a small piston you're actuating. It doesn't backfill in there, and um, you only get kind of a half a lift. So if you're uh, if if you step on it and then wait, you'll get the full lift. See if I step on it quick, I'm, I'm not getting as much lift. That's and that's probably because it's cold and the oil's thick. It's not working its way back in as fast as I'm I'm doing this kind of stuff. Um, so as of now, I highly recommend this. If you go through all the reviews, what people criticize this lift for all the time is um, that when you put oil in it, and what they're doing is they're probably jacking it all the way up. And uh, then when you put oil in it and you let it down, the reservoir isn't big enough to handle all the oil that's in the piston plus all the oil you just put in the reservoir so then it squirts oil all over the place. Personally, I wouldn't put oil in this thing unless the piston wasn't going all the way up anymore. Then I'd I'd put some oil in it. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure why these people are adding oil to something that's working. If it's working don't mess with it. I guess a lot of people also criticize there's a rubber plug that you have to remove to put the oil in, and I guess it's hard to get the plug in and out. And one person indicated that if you use a small screwdriver, you can kind of squeeze the plug and manipulate it around and get it into the hole a lot easier, a lot easier than just trying to squeeze it in with your fingers. Once again, if you kind of use a screwdriver to wedge it in, a small screwdriver to wedge it back in the hole, I guess, I guess that works. As of now, it seems to be very capable of lifting, well, I don't know, what does this thing weigh? Four or five hundred pounds, it seems to lift it, no sweat, and with this weight on it, it seems to roll it around, no sweat. So, um, anyway, as as of right now, it looks like a, a nice addition to the hoard. Even for, for doing stuff like... Um, Lifting this bike most of the way up if I'm trying to put it on here or or something like that i i think I think it's um just makes life a lot easier um a lot of a lot of the guys on the YouTube garage were not quite as young as we used to be right you, you know it's one thing to pick that up and fling it on there when you're 18 or 28 or 38 but as you begin to say hey I'm 48 or 58 or 68 you might not want to do that because it hurts um, and you might break something important so you you just not a good idea uh, as of right now, the lift I'm thinking of building, I'm thinking of putting it dead center in between the four garage doors. Uh, the reason being so I can drive in and under, um, and I have plenty of places for the bike that's underneath it. If I could go out the front, I could go out either front door or either back door, and um, I really... I really want to start using the four-door functionality of this garage. Um, I was going to move from the toolbox to pegboards, but if that's not going to be my work area, my work area is going to be here, then I should maintain the, um, the toolbox. That way I can roll it about to where I want to be. As a matter of fact, I should probably set it up with some wings y you know junk like that uh, love this toolbox except for one thing the top that opens because when you open the top you don't have a workbench it's almost worthwhile to close the top keep it permanently closed and um, cut this out and set, set up a draw of some kind in here either a draw or quite honestly just just a shelf where you put a couple of trays to put things in it that way the top doesn't have to open and close and you could um you, you can you can put a permanent wooden top or whatever on it that way it's a rolling workbench and um and and a rolling tool cart the only bad thing is the wheels um, they're kind of set in a little bit, 
So one would have to be careful that as you're working on top, you, like you don't want to put a vise on it or anything. You probably end up just rolling it over, much like a china quad. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and folks, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now.